morning and I'm driving to my friend's house because my other friend is going to pick me up. I live a bit further out from town. <laughs> I'm off to drive into town where my other friend can pick me up. The surfboard is still in here, but I can't be bothered to take them out because there might come a need where I just want to go again after work. So I'm leaving them in here. But I'm gonna go into town so then the galleys can pick me up and we're going to Birmingham. We're gonna stay at Jordan's family's house in Solly Hall. Um, and we might do Ninja Warrior today, but I'll let you know, we'll wait and see. We're on the red wine tonight. I've got the Merlot. Jordan's on the Malbec. The girls are on the Cabernet Sauvignon. And we're all making bolognese. Jordan just went on the trampoline. Oh my gosh! Trying to do that as a 21, no, 22 year old woman is the most ridiculously hard thing ever. And we did crack the egg, so that was great fun. I don't know if it's going to fit. Look at that juicy goodness. What have you got? Red, red wine. And then we got this for breakfast because the girls want something a bit more spicy than Norway mix. And I didn't know they did big wheat bits with chocolate chunks, did you? Uh -oh. I've just got this covered. Oh, yeah. We've got our dinner. Oh, ah. This is the current hair situ. I've managed to clip it, but it stayed relatively in. We've got Max Fizz. What's the time? Half nine, not even half nine. And we're getting ready. I would film a debrief. Oh, why does this keep happening? To the end of the vlog. Um, it was like kind of a chilled kind of intro vibe and then we had Bongo's Bingo. And I just want to say, Bongo's Bingo is the best thing you will ever do in your life for the price of 18 pounds, I think it was. It was so good. If you like bingo anyway, which we all love bingo, honestly go and do it because you could go there sober pregnant works friends family it's such a laugh and it's so cheap and everyone's there dancing you just kind of don't care you don't know what time it is because it starts at like 12 and it finishes like six but you win actually good money and good presents presents prizes as well so i definitely recommend going but to make the video nicer and better, I thought because it is kind of like a girly vlog, I would do some girly things like 
my new makeup, the makeup I used on the night out, even though you didn't see me too much, my Instagram will have photos of me on the night out. What I wore, what I used, and I just wanna give some insights. I have to review some TikTok things because I bought this all once I had my first paycheck from my new job because I've had no money and I have never bought from TikTok. So, I've been wearing this. This is the Glow For It Lash Growth Serum. So I had the UK Lash Growth Serum and I actually found it amazing. And then I bloody lost it. It fell like in a crevice of my van, I think, and I, or somewhere, and I can't find it again. And it's, that was 50 pounds. And then I saw the reviews for this on TikTok and I thought, I'm gonna try it. I've been trying it for a while. Haven't really seen much growth yet. Whereas I did start seeing it with the serum from UK Lash. So I don't know if it's just a load of crap or if it is actually good, but I will keep you updated. So it's that one. And this is only £27 or £25 um, compared to like nearly £50 for UK Lash. If it doesn't work, then I'm going back to UK Lash. <laughs> And then my makeup is usually the same as the other video, um, with it, which is a get ready with me on my channel, like third video or something. I always use this, right? And I was just speaking with the girls about it. But my friend uses this one, Falsies Surreal, and it's in the same section as the Sensational. And she says she loves it. And her eyelashes do look amazing. And I'm like, I don't know if I feel the same. Because <laughs> I put this on my lashes and for some reason it feels really empty as well, unless I bought like an empty one. Um, somehow. It just like goes everywhere like this and I hate that and like all up here. I'm not wearing any mascara right now, but I've got something in my eye. Um, and I don't love it yet, but again, I will let you know. On to my other TikTok buy, which I utilized that weekend, was this. I could link it on Amazon, because I know how to link things. And I believe the Amazon ones are better. But I bought this because I thought, I'm not a girl who can curl their hair very well. I don't like using heat. I like to have beachy waves and I don't care if it falls out because I don't mind my hair being straight. I did wish though I had brought hairspray to stay in. But this, you look like a freak when you sleep. And obviously when I was getting ready, as you saw, but it is so good. And when I did it, I did it quite rushed with the girls at the night. And I just did it all one way. And it made this like bouncy long curls. So I didn't do it too tight. Uh, that's not normally the vibe I go for, but I did feel quite pretty and like, ooh. Um, but normally at Boardmasters, actually, when I use this, you do it like different ways. And I did it much tighter and neater. And it was a lot more like ringlety, but then it fell out to be more beachy, which was quite nice. The other one was kind of like a blow dry look that I did on the weekend with the girls, as you saw. Defo recommend, defo get. I don't know why I wouldn't get it. I get it because sometimes you do look like a weirdo when you sleep. And I don't find it too uncomfortable, to be honest. It's like the same as having plaits. And sometimes plaits is annoying, but beauty is pain. So it's worth it because then you get to keep your nice, healthy hair and it's not ruined with heat. Last of all was the TikTok dress, the viral one. But it's like this, and it goes all the way down, really long, and it's got a lovely open back, ah, and bra a bit. Defo think that this is one of the most, what's the word? Pretty dresses I've had because I just get like hippie, baggy, nice dresses, although this is kind of tight. This is more of like a rave dress that I'm wearing now, but this is such a pretty dainty dress. You have your little sleeves here and your back's open and makes your bum look amazing. But because it is such a thin material, it grips onto everything. So if you've got a bit of bloat, if you're drinking the beers that like we were because it was the cheapest thing to buy at Bongo's Bingo. That is one thing, drinks are quite expensive. It is showing everything. However, it's not see-through despite it being so thin and your boobies somehow are quite hidden 
because there's a double layer. But one issue about this TikTok dress is because it goes round your arm, literally like that, if you're like throwing your arms about, your sleeve can come down and you can just show everyone everything. So those are the cons. The pros, bum looks good. You look quite tall, backs out, look elegant, but you've got to be pretty ripped <laughs> and you can't dance like a maniac and that's none of me. <laughs> so yeah, I've got this in the blue as well. I think the cutting of the blue ones are a little bit different, just probably from manufacturing issues, but um, it's a lot more like in here and it's very, very blue, but this is the colors for the pink one. I'll get the blue one. This is the blue one. It's really cute. It's got these flowers here. Um, but yeah, similar vibes, similar issues. But to be honest, it only cost me three pounds. <laughs> you can get one for seven pounds, but I chose the three pound one, which was on a flash sale because it was cheaper. So that's everything from my TikTok shop buys which i basically ended up wearing all that weekend so i hope this comes in useful for your little tiktok shop review <laughs> um but the annoying thing is about the weekend is that you didn't really get to see much of me in my dress and much of us partying with the actual music on because of copyright so it's just a big montage of us having fun but at least you got to see what bongo's bingo was like because it is so fun and the people on stage are hilarious so even though you can't listen to the same tunes as we were because of copyright you kind of get the same vibe and now you know what to wear and what to buy if you want the similar look that i had <laughs> and i can ask all of my friends as well where they got their dresses if you want that as well but yeah I hope you enjoyed. It was much more of a girly, montage -y vlog because of copyright and me not wanting to merge loads of videos into one. But this weekend I am going on a seafood festival thing in Dorset, or Weymouth actually. Um, so I'll bring you along. I also went kayaking in Dartmouth and exploring on Dartmoor last weekend. I didn't actually vlog though because I had too much content. Um, but I might do like a TikTok y voiceover vlog. I don't know, it depends because I have a lot of footage vertical, not horizontal, which I need for YouTube. But yes, I hope you look forward to the things coming next if you don't like this girly vlog. Also, I have some exciting news that this channel is going to have a convert your van series. So I'm going to do a thing talking about my van, how I did it, how I converted it what I put in it, what I bought, everything and link it all on um, Amazon. Basically, my dad has bought in an auction a short, oh no, I think it's a medium wheelbase high top for transit. And Sam and I have been wanting a bigger van for a long time. I love my little Cleo, she will continue to be my van. But I know Sam's wanted to buy a van and it would be a high top one so we could actually stand in it and properly live in it a little bit more but if we want to be a bit more discreet we stay in Clio the caddy but there's going to be a whole conversion series of this van and it might also become some income where we can rent out the van on Camplify and things like that so it's got to be good nick it's got to be a good conversion so I will basically record the whole series on YouTube and try my best because I didn't do that with my caddy because I did it last year and I didn't do YouTube last year and then I went traveling and then I decided I'm just gonna start doing YouTube so yeah I hope you have that to look forward to as well give it a thumbs up if you enjoy and comment any things you want to know about anyone's outfit choices what I've done what you want to hear and everything else but yeah thank you bye, -bye.